Hey everyone, it is Bon Yuki here again, and I'm here to put a review out on the latest firmware for the OSSC. It is currently at version 0.76, and um, it's added a few, you know, few fixes here and there, but it's also added line 4x mode and line 5x mode. And what that does is it takes that 240p and multiplies it four times or five times, depending if your TV can handle it. This, of course, is my Vizio D65 inch uh, 4K television, and it can handle line triple mode pretty well on HDMI 5. And why that's relevant is because HDMI 5 has a lowest input delay, a rated of 13 milliseconds, which is really, really fast. So I downloaded my firmware, I updated it, the OSSC, just sitting right there, and when I put it in line 4x mode, it did not work. And I was like, okay, let's try 5x. And uh, 5x actually synced in on a signal, but um, it basically got stuck. Uh, you couldn't really see anything. So in the end, I was like, well, that's a bummer. I mean, line triple mode, and they say, hey, these TVs, if it didn't like line triple, it's unlikely to line like uh, quadruple or quintuple at all. Um, just on a whim... I said, you know what, let me put it in the, one of the other HDMI's and actually go through Vizio Scaler. And that's why this TV has such low input delay when on HDMI 5, because it doesn't go through their Video Scaler. Well, lo and behold, I'm able to get my 1080p. So this is in line 5x mode, and it looks gorgeous. Contrast ratio, um, using the, it, this is full array local dimming, 12 zones, not great, but it does look amazing. Um, look how crisp it looks. Look at those scan lines. This is that scan lines at 50. Um, I'm using clear action, which is basically Vizio's version of black frame insertion. So every um, other frame, you have a black frame. It dims the picture a little bit, but it's it's well worth it because you get no blurring. And that's why I wanted to show this game off. Marvel Super Heroes has a lot of motion uh, up and down with its big backgrounds. You don't see any blurring whatsoever. It looks great. What's nice about the 5X mode, it, as you see it right now, it's a little bit cropped up with a little bit of overscan. There's different, um, there's different modes here. Right now, this is in the 1080p mode. You can see the Marvel Comics is a little bit cropped up. And, it, you know, it looks pretty good. But there's a uh, 1600 by 1200 mode, and the TV sees it. Look at that, 1600 by 1200. And you'll see it, you get a little bit of black up top black down below and honestly that's how it looked like on the uh line triple mode so this is basically perfect right here this is great if you guys want to stay with that and there's also another mode which gives you 1920 by 1200 which this tv also happily accepts look at that um 240, 240 optimal mode works as well but um as you can see the sprites a little bit thinner i mean this probably looks closer to the arcade version because the Saturn is just its wacky resolutions. It makes everything look a little wider than it has to be. But I'll keep it on this uh, 1080p mode. It looks pretty pretty sharp as is zoomed up a little bit. So there is some caveat to this. Um, like I was saying, HDMI 5 does have that 13 millisecond input delay. And all the other imp uh, HDMI's have an input delay of 43 milliseconds. So, you know, you give up some to get other stuff. So it's basically acting like a frame meister now where you get your, you know, a couple frames of input delay. And then you have your display lag. Um, so now that my display lag is at 43 or 41 or 42, and this TV, excuse me, the OSSC doesn't have any delay at all, it's like dealing with a frame meister, but actually it looks a lot better, handles motion. This TV is great. Um, another thing that was a bonus, before on HDMI 5, I could never get Dreamcast to work in 480p X2 mode. So it's kind of like a line doubling for 480p. And now it does. It actually works at 1280 by 960 um, when plugged into HDMI 4. So that was a nice surprise, and I was very happy with that. And it looks quite sharp. So, well, with this new firmware, I mean, this this looks gorgeous. It looks great. Uh, I definitely suggest anyone who has an OSSC to try it. And if you have a Vizio television, uh, I have three of them. And if you, for some reason, can't get the 5X to work or the 4X to work in 
HDMI 5. Go ahead and try the actual Vizio scaler. It's pretty good. You can resize the panel. You can make them bigger. You can make it smaller. You can move it up. You can move it down. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I never really used it because, I, you know, I want that low input delay. And um, right now, I mean, with that scaler, I mean, inside the TV combined with the OSSC, I mean, I'm throwing things at it. Linux 5 works on the Super Nintendo. Linux 5 worked on that. Linux 5 worked on that. Linux 5 worked on that. Line 2X worked on that. And so on and so forth. Um, the only one I had issues was the Xbox, the original Xbox. Uh, using component with 40p, I tried to do the uh, line double on that. It did not work. I don't know why. It worked on Dreamcast or via VGA, but it did not work on Xbox for whatever reason. But anyway, folks, this is great setup. I mean, Marks is really putting it out there. I mean, that guy, he's just a pro. I mean, I've got this thing since Memorial Day last year, 2016, and it's getting better and better. And I think Line 5X is the most this hardware can do. And I, I tell you what, it's drop that gorgeous. I mean, I, look at these pixels. I mean, look, look at Norimar. Look at them. I mean, it looks great. The scan lines are at 50% with clear action and game lag. I mean, just look at this thing. Look how awesome that looks. That's the Sega Saturn. I mean, this console was, what, 1994? This game, I believe, is like 96 or 97. I mean, it's an older game, but it looks amazing. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I can't. I can just sit here with my jaw dropped all day, but it's time to play some games. Uh, 42 milliseconds, not too bad, guys. Uh and if I really, really need to, you know, get frame perfect, I could always um, play on my 40-inch cabinet out there, put that in HDMI 5, and that's fine. But anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments, um, please hit me up, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. I know a lot about the OSSC, not as much as some other guys do, but I have played around with these consoles enough um, be able to say, hey, you know what, try this, try that. This might work. This worked for me. But, um, yeah, it's a win-win. OSSC and these Vizio TVs actually going through the scaler. Who would have thought? You know, I never <laughs> I never tried it. But I did um, a couple days ago and very pleased with the results. I'm getting more out of my OSSC because I'm using the video scaler. So no need to buy one of those VP50 Pros or, or any of those, you know, those things that they have out there. All right. Thank you very much.